Okay, good, 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 good. And we're rolling guys, we're live once again, welcome back, it's been, well it's felt like ages for me because the other two videos I made, like before the Wi-Fi failed, um, and yeah do go and check them out so you get a bit of context as to what's happened when I've been away. It's been longer than I thought really. Um, but yeah, summer is still here. We're having a, an extended summer this year. Um, surprising, you know. But today I just want to talk about this documentary series. No, it's not a series, is it? Well, it's, it's, it was just a standalone documentary. Uh, let me start again. <laughs> so anyway, like I was about to say, there's a documentary called Rising Phoenix on Netflix. Um, those of you from the disabled community might have seen it already, more likely than the average person. Um, and yeah, it's all about Paralympics, all the, the stories behind some of the athletes, what they went through. Um, but a friend of mine said, like, Rising Phoenix isn't that a bit offensive, you know? So, like, there were nothing before. Um, you know, so, like, not every disabled person is an Olympic athlete doesn't mean we're ashes that are going to rise from the ashes like a phoenix does according to Harry Potter <laughs> that's the logic I have from this but yeah no it means like they've been through hard times and they've come out on top effectively of course they haven't because you know one they got a lit whatever problem they have a limb missing or some other condition you know that's part of their life and doing a sport that they love and competing and fighting is something they're used to every day. Uh, the fight, so a sport is nothing new for them. They've got that that fire inside that they show in whatever sport they do. And I do that personally in parachair football. Uh, you forget all the stress of everyday life, all the difficult things you've been through or are going through, and you just live in the moment, which I try to do anyway. But Rising Phoenix kind of was really inspirational and I want to get my, my whole family to watch it to be honest. I'm trying to persuade them for a bit. But they're like, oh it's a documentary, I don't want to watch it. But trust me, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, I don't work for Netflix, I wish I did. You know, they could pay me something. But yeah, so I want to talk about the documentary. And it starts talking about the you know, how these athletes Paralympic athletes are like the Avengers of the real world, and they are, and I respect them more than able athletes, what they do, like the ambition and the fight they have to compete, to say, look, I don't care about all the problems I have, I want to fight anyway, uh, and if anything, they're more inspirational than, no offence to any able athlete or Olympian, you know, great job, well done, but these guys are more amazing and they are the real life Avengers in some ways to some people. Like, it, you know, a kid sees a runner with two blades and, and that's like something out of a comic book, you know. Uh, and it seems strange saying that though. Um, but you know what I mean, they're more, there's more things to look up to because, I don't know, from a kid's point of view, you know, it's like amazing for them. And yeah, superpower is their disability, their, the thing that makes them who they are in some ways. Not that it always defines you, in some cases it can. Um, but they're not letting it stop them compete, basically, you know. They've all had things they've been through. Like you see the documentary, like some of the stories. Um, just like, oh my god, like, I mean, oh, that is a squeaky door. The wind is blowing, guys. <laughs> what can I say? Oh my. But anyway, from my standpoint, it's like, yeah, I haven't been, you know, I haven't grown up in a war torn country um, and lost limbs as a result or, you know, any of the thing, things like that they've been through. But I've been born with a condition, that's it. And a lot of them have. And they, as much as it was a curse, 
for some of them it turned into a gift. Um, like one of the guys who had no arms, I think. But he learned to use a bow and arrow, using his, his feet, you know. And that part of his brain that operates the legs was bigger than the average. So that's like a coincidence? I don't think so. Um, but yeah, and it's eye-opening to see like people who might not have realised their too true potential. They're coming out and they're, you know, doing what they do every day, fight. Uh, it's brilliant for disability awareness as a documentary, I mean, the Paralympics is. I don't see it as anything less than the more Olympics and neither should you. If not, it's worth more for me. It's more inspirational. And again, sorry to the able athletes out there. But, um, yeah, I mean, the stereotypes of ableism, you know, uh, holds a lot of disabled people back in life. But in the Paralympics, it, they weren't cheering because, yay, um, something difficult happened to this person and they got over it. No, they're cheering because they're seeing a great sporting event, athletes competing, something they mentioned in the documentary. You know, I never thought of it that way. I mean, I, I was lucky enough to go there, to see the Olympics and the Paralympics. I enjoyed the Paralympics more because I could relate to some of these people and their stories, and playing a sport where you forget about everything. And hopefully one day Paralympic football will be in the Olympics, but there's 10 or 20 other sports trying to get in for when one sport drops out. So we'll see, I don't know the full ins and outs. I've heard different rumours. But yeah, going back to 2012 Olympics in London, that was great, like, the buzz. And I was lucky enough to get to go. A lot of people weren't, being from this city. But yeah, we all thought, oh no, it's never going to be ready in time. It just about was. You know, I was like, nah, there's no way. Typical England, you know, we're not going to get it done on time, you know. They're putting walls up still and stuff. But no, it was done. And that's great. And it's so long ago, it's like, what, eight years ago. And for that area, it was great. They rebuilt, you know, rebuilt. We've got Westfield there now, all this. And, yeah, I mean, documentary's not just about the London Olympics. It's about all of them and the breaking down the barriers of stereotypes. They're still there, they're not gone. Um, but yeah, this got me thinking, this documentary, you know. And the time we're living in now, people standing up for what they believe in, more than ever. And speaking of documentaries, I've been watching the Tottenham one, All or Nothing, and God, Jose swears a lot, doesn't he? That's what my dad made of it. But, um... Tom Hardy narrating it, it's just amazing. It's just so amazing to watch. And yeah, they're showing the, the bad and the good and the arguments, but that's normal. Um, Norris almost actually knocked out Son. I don't know if you remember that game where he just went mad at him at half time. But yeah, this revealed all what was going on. And you see it and you think, oh, okay, that's just like, you know, some sort of beef going on there, but nah. It's just passion. Uh, like, you know, like a lot of athletes, it's passion that gets you through, maybe not skill. The effort, for sure, but not always skill. Um, and, yeah, that's inspiring too, in a different way, because it's the team I look up to. But it's not as inspiring as when I play Pajio football, that's another level, because that's me being part of something. You know? And, it, like I said, you forget all the other things with the everyday stuff, the, the things that stress you out, and you're just in that moment, and you feel free. And yeah, that's it really. It's as simple as that, nothing else to it. And then the success comes after. But win, lose, you do it as a team. And at, at, talking of my team, as a team, recently we've been having some uh, sports psychology, like uh, lessons you could say, Zoom calls, and that's helping a lot. Can you think about what's the meaning behind what you're doing, the purpose, the whole overall goal of what you're doing, what you're trying to achieve, and it's great. 
especially well, it's kind of like ironic I'm watching the Spurs documentary you know Mourinho's opinion to what you've got to do to win you know be a certain word on the pitch you know, be a certain way be aggressive and you've got to be, you've got to be a different animal on the pitch and going back to this documentary the uh, Rising Phoenix um, that was it they're, they're just different people when they're competing the passion all the things they worked for um, and maybe they're really nice people in real life but when they're out on that pitch or that court or whatever it is or the track they're just different you've got to be you've got, you've got to have that aggressive mindset you've got to have that in life too and it's a, it's a balance it, it balances you that kind of thing and life is all about balance if you've ever seen Karate Kid you know what that means but anyway guys I want to leave it there I've enjoyed just having a chat with you guys might head to the park again at some point um, while the summer is still here briefly well it's been a week you know and I had like so long without Wi-Fi but now it's back guys so be sure to check out any live streams I do do recently and the latest videos like share comment subscribe as always I'm your host your boy Louise 21 back again and here to stay till I get bored